Hey everyone, welcome to BK Playhouse. We are here at HO Pen, which is a Caterpillar dealer. Huge thank you to HO Pen for sponsoring this episode. The boys are about to go out into this yard and they're gonna climb on and explore and discover some of this heavy equipment. They're even going to get to operate a piece of this machinery. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's go do this. Oh my God! <laughs> You got it, Kayla. Get the railing next to you. Check out these rollers the boys are getting in. These ones are more for dirt. The little ones are more for pavement. This could do some serious flattening right now. Oh, Kayla, don't touch any of these buttons. Safety first. Safety first. Safety first. Good job. Oh, extra arm guys. Love it. <laughs> You want to try an excavator? Okay, because my job's done with this. Good, his job's done. Awesome. Careful. Here we go, here we go. This thing is huge. Look at this. Look at me underneath this. Up here, this is the boom. This part right here is the stick. And then you'd have the bucket attached under here. These are mini excavators. So we're actually gonna get to operate one of these mini excavators for real. Let's go meet up with Steve, a Caterpillar technician who manages the yard here at HO Pen for some important safety instructions and then get to digging. So when you're up there, you look at me and I'll tell you what to do. We all got it? You gotta pay attention, okay? You gotta go very slow. So you have to be gentle with the control because if you're too rough, you can get out of control. All right? All right, who's first? Bray's gonna go first. Brayden's up. <laughs> right there is perfect. Good job, Bray. All right, come on. So, Kayla, Brayden's going in there. You're gonna stay here behind the cone. Okay. Okay, so Brayden is in the mini excavator. Steve's given him some really good directions. He's so good with explaining, and he's going to dig in this dirt pile. Now remember, we are following all of our safety rules. We're following the procedures. We're doing what we're supposed to do in this working yard. So we always need to be careful with that. All right, I think the engine just started. Let's see what Brayden's about to do. So now it's Caleb's turn. He's inside the cab with Mama, and they are gonna to get to dig with a mini excavator too. Here we go.
Caleb, what do you think? Wow. I want one. I want one of these for the yard. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, so Steve just let the boys drive the mini excavators and he explained how the arm moves. I wanted to explain that for you guys. So he said, think of it like your arm. So your shoulder joint moves just like the boom, which is this long part right up here. And then your elbow joint, think of that as the joint that's connected to the stick right here. So you can move it like that. And then the bucket, which goes all the way down there on the bottom, think of it like your wrist. And you can dig and dump with your wrist. That's how the boys knew how to move the arm of the mini excavator. It's just like moving your arm. Thanks, Steve, that was awesome. You wanna go in an excavator, Caleb? Caleb, look up. Anyone, which one do you want? There's like a million of them. All right, Caleb's on the tracks. Into the excavator he goes. Bye. Hi, Caleb. You wanna go in one, Brian? You can go any one. There's a bunch of them for you to choose from all down the line. Um, guys? Whoa, Caleb no. actually really wants to find a horn in Hawaii. And we can't find it. Hawaii. Someone was that's a horn. Here's what Steve told me how to do this. We chose a bucket. This is a real working yard and they just got a delivery. So we're gonna have to wait a minute while Steve gets this new front loader off of the flatbed. to take the brand new front end loader off of the flatbed. So that's our guy Steve right up there. He's gonna back it down the ramp. And that is how a new machine gets delivered. This is called a paver. These buckets here open up big and flat. The pavement goes in here, gets poured out onto the street. The rollers come, they flatten it out, and we have roads. We are up here on top of the paver. We've got a seat over here, a seat here. Right now, Brayden's got the controls. Caleb's on lookout over here. Brayden, all right, what are we doing here? No sidewalk. No side. Yes, sidewalks. Okay. There. Okay. You can start going now. If you ever see that. What is it? A horn. The horn. <laughs> if you ever see like that trumpet, that means a horn on these caterpillar stuff. The boys are in skid steer loaders. So the only difference of the ones that they're in, this guy's got tracks and this one's got wheels. So it depends where you're using them. Do these have steering wheels? Like when you were driving with Steve, did you have a steering wheel in there? No. No, how did you do it then? So will you use these to control? Mm -hmm. So this is also a loader, but these are called wheel loaders because they don't have the tracks on them, they've got these big wheels. And as we go down the line here, they're gonna get bigger and bigger, and we're gonna go all the way to the end to the biggest wheel loader that they have here at HOPEN. Bigger. <laughs> Still bigger. This is the biggest wheel loader that they have here. This is the 982 wheel loader. Check out the size of the wheels on this thing. Look at this, guys. I'm six feet tall. Check out the size of these tires, these wheels. And the boys are here. Hi, guys. It looks like we're real workers because we have... You are. I thought you were. I was going to come ask for, your, some, for some help. I thought you were a worker. Wow, Well, Bray. you actually have to bring all this down to steel because... Look at this. Careful. Wow, check this out, Bray. No! Wait, can I open the other one? Yeah, sure. Um, I think we need to go back and 
The excavator? Uh -huh. Yeah, Brayden needs oh to go my use an excavator. Brayden, there's <laughs> AR conditioning! <laughs> You could live in there. Turn around. Arm here. Turn around. Good job. Braden is over here in the biggest excavator they have here on the lot. This is the 330 and check it out. Braden's over here and check out how long the boom is. And then you have the stick and the bucket. That is huge. No, no, no. No, no, no. What do you mean? Arm, elbow, wrist. Oh, right, the joints that Steve told us. Caleb, you were paying attention to Steve, weren't you? Good job. Good. Thanks for hanging out with us here at BK Playhouse in this amazing yard here at HO Penn. So thank you, Steve. Thanks, HO Penn. And thanks to Steve's son, Reed, for sharing your dad with us today. Don't forget, give us a like, click subscribe, and we'll see you soon.